Now for today's video, today we are going to be feeding my snakes at the house. Now we are going to be trying to feed one of my baby boas a green iguana. These are our mice. Oh, oh my gosh. And before we just throw the iguana in there for him to eat, well, we're gonna have to scent the iguana. So we're just literally gonna take this mouse and we're gonna rub the mouse all over the iguana. And we're gonna see if he wants to eat it. Oh, he might be coming for it. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video today, we are going to be feeding my snakes at the house. Now, I've never done like a strictly snake feeding video. I've done videos that kind of incorporate ev everything, whether it be the birds, whether it be the lizards, the turtles, the tortoises, but I've never done solely a snake feeding video. Now, not only are we going to be feeding these snakes rats and mice, but about three weeks ago, I went and I caught a baby green iguana. That's an invasive species here in South Florida. And I have that iguana inside of my freezer. And well, we are going to be trying to feed one of my baby baby boas a green iguana. Now green iguanas are an invasive species here in South Florida. They cause millions and millions of dollars a year in damages to seawalls, digging under buildings. They do a lot more damage than people think. So if I can actually use this green iguana, which is invasive, to feed my baby boas, which are also invasive here in South Florida I, that I caught, well, it's a win-win situation. I am fueling, I'm feeding my invasive boa an invasive iguana. So it actually balances out and works out perfect. And that is exactly what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be feeding some of my baby boas mice, but I'm also going to try to feed them baby iguanas. So without further ado, let's hop into today's feeding video. And here it is. These are our frozen rats. So we get these rats as feeders from a local guy down here in South Florida, and the rats already come ready to go frozen. Now, for those of you that don't want to see stuff like this, snakes eat rats, they eat mice, so this is, you know, when you own snakes, you got to feed them rats, so this is the reality of it. So we're just going to pop this bad boy right in there, and this right here is some nice warm water that I actually just got from my sink, and this warm water is going to help thaw this rat out. Now, you don't want the water to be too hot where you cook the inside, but you want it to be, you know, lukewarm so it thaws the rat a lot faster. Now, as far as the other mice go in the baby iguana, I've already taken the baby iguana out a little bit ago. He is inside the garage with all of our mice that we got earlier from the reptile store. And the only thing left to do is, well, wait for this rat to thaw out. Once the rat is thawed out, we can begin our feeding. One hour later. And here they are. These are our mice, and then that right there there is the little iguana that we're going to be feeding out. Not only do we have our food here, but we have our snakes. So all three, well, all four, but there's three right here. All of these snakes right here are wild caught red tail boas from right here in South Florida. Now there is a isolated population of boas here in South Florida. Me and my friends have become especially good at, you know, tracking down and catching these boas at this population. This year has been our best year yet. I mean, so far this year, I am on boa number six. Now three of them were dead in the road, but these three right here, well, these three boas are healthy boas that we caught. Now, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you have seen that we have caught boas on this channel. My friend Landon has caught boas on his channel, but a lot of the boas that we're catching has IBD, which is inclusion body disease. It's a disease that can be transferred from boa to boa and even to pythons. And basically it's a neurological disease in the head that eventually kills the snake. So we have all of these babies quarantined because if they do show the signs of IBD, we are going to have to humanely euthanize the snake because it could spread to my entire collection. So that is why we have them in separate little bins. But this right here is my big girl boa. This boa right here, I've had this boa right here for a couple of years now. I caught this boa right here that's now about five feet long. I caught that boa at the exact same size that these are. So she's in a nice large vision cage with a lock. So now we're gonna actually feed her first. So we're just gonna slide that lock off. We're gonna slide the door open. Come on, slide up. What, what the heck? Wow, I thought that wasn't gonna open. But as you can see, she is just one gorgeous boa. Now she's hiding in the mulch right now. She's in the back absorbing the heat. And you can see why they call them red tail boas because obviously she has that gorgeous red tail. But you know, from a distance, she almost completely blends in. Now she's going to be getting this large rat right here. Now, since I don't have my tongs, well, I just am gonna take the snake hook just like this on the rat. And you know, she should take it now. This is going to be her first meal inside of her new home. She's only been in here a couple of days, but let's just dangle it just like this. Come on, girl. 
What? Why don't you want your rat? What is wrong with you? You always eat rats. Come on. What's your deal, girl? Come on. You want it? Okay, this is a first. Guys, we are off to a very disappointing start. This boa right here never ever refuses a meal, but she's only been in here two days, so she may need a little more time to acclimate, so we're gonna try again later. I'm sure it has to do with the new environment, so, so we'll give her a try later, but now, I mean, let's hop into the babies. This little guy right here, I've only had for a couple of days. This little guy was actually caught at my old high school. A buddy of mine texted me to go catch it, so I went. I've only had this little guy just a couple of days, but just look at the colors on this guy. I mean, I don't want to touch him because he may not want to eat, but look at the colors on his tail. I mean, this right here is going to be just one gorgeous red tail boa. It's got these deep ruby reds, almost a coral red. I mean, this little guy is just an absolute stunner. So we're gonna start off with this little mouse right here for him. Actually, let's go with the little brown guy. So with this little mouse, we're just gonna hold it. Guys, go comment down below if you think he's gonna eat. But now we're gonna take it just like this. Come on. Oh, oh my gosh. He just whacked it, look at that. Wow, this is his first meal at my house and this guy did not disappoint, look at him going right at it, just an absolute beast of a red tail. I mean, look how gorgeous his red tail is. And then look at this guy. This is our next one that we're gonna be feeding. This little guy right here has even more vibrant colors. My buddy Walker actually caught this one. He gave them to me, but look at that red tail. Look at that red tail there. And look at this one. I mean, the difference is just absolutely amazing. So you're doing good, buddy. You're doing absolutely well. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this little lid right here. We're gonna pop it on on just so it's nice and secure so he can't get out. But now it's time to feed this little guy. But this one is a little bit different. That one right there is going to eat the iguana. But before we actually feed the iguana out, we're gonna go try to feed the female outside. We're gonna save the best for last, which is the iguana. I'm hoping he'll eat it, but, but let's close him up again right now, and we'll go feed the little girl. Oh yeah, look at this little girl boa here. Now, I don't really wanna touch her because you know she might have the disease, but I have her in this little container because it's easy to disinfect, it's easy to clean. She's got a nice little water bowl there. Now, we're just gonna take this little mouse right here. She has not eaten yet. This is gonna be her first meal. Oh, she's going. Guys, I think she's gonna, oh my gosh. Boas have just incredible striking power. I mean, compared to a python, the boas are just so, so fast, and this girl did not disappoint. You did good, girl, so we're just gonna close this beauty on up, just like this, lock and lock. And now it is the moment of truth. It is time to go feed the other male boa, see if he'll eat an iguana, I'm hoping he will. Guys, I just came in the garage to feed the male boa the iguana, and well, you're not gonna believe what the other one's doing. Look at this right here, he has already started to eat the head. I mean, you can see right now, he's using his jaws, he has unlatched his jaws, and he is making his way around the head. You can actually see the little ear of the mouse right there. And this little guy is not shy. I mean, he is eating right in front of us, but look at him. He is just a beast of a snake. Look at that gorgeous pattern right there, that gorgeous little pixelation. I mean, this boa is gonna be absolutely amazing. So once again, we're gonna leave you in private to finish your meal. We're just going to go click and click, and now he can't get out, but there's enough airflow in there for him. And now on to this guy. We are going to be feeding this red tail boa right here, a green iguana. And before we just throw the iguana in there for him to eat, well, we're gonna have to scent the iguana. So what does that mean? That means we are going to have to take this mouse right here and actually rub it all over the iguana. The reason being is this boa has been eating mice for me for the past couple weeks, and he most likely will not eat the iguana if it doesn't have the scent of the mouse. So in order to transfer him onto iguanas, we're gonna have to rub the scent of the mouse on him, and slowly but surely, we will eventually wean him to totally eating iguanas without having to scent it at all. So without further ado, let's scent this little iguana. So basically what we're gonna do is we're just literally gonna take this mouse, and we're gonna rub the mouse all over the iguana. He may or may not eat it, guys. I want you to go comment down below if you think this boa right here is gonna eat the iguana after we scent it. The iguana has been scented. Now, if he doesn't end up eating the iguana, well, we'll feed him the mouse. So we're just gonna take this iguana right here, and we're going to just put it right in front of him. We're gonna see if he wants to eat it. Oh, he might be coming for it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He took it, guys. 
I don't think this has ever been shown on YouTube before, but this is the very first time that I think a snake is eating an iguana live on TV. I mean, oh my goodness. Guys, I'm in shock. This is absolutely amazing. We are feeding a w invasive red-tailed boa an invasive green iguana. This is one way we can help manage the invasive population here. And I'm just so excited that this actually happened. This is so cool to see, guys. I'm still in shock, guys. This is just so incredibly cool. Seeing an invasive boa eating an invasive iguana. I don't want to disturb him too much. I want to make sure that he is at peace. Nothing is bothering him so he can eat this iguana. So that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy seeing all the updates at my house and some of the snake feeding here today. Unfortunately, we did not get my biggest boa to eat, um, but I believe it's just because... She was introduced to a new habitat, so I'm sure in a couple of days she will eat just fine. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Go comment down below what you thought of this crazy iguana feeding. And guys, if you are not subscribed already, you enjoy the content, you want to see more boas eating, you want to see tigers, lions, monkeys, all kinds of crazy animals, well, what are you waiting for? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell and you all will be notified whenever I post.